What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up if you like today's video. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. Today, what we're going to be doing is making a yeet type beat in Logic Pro 10. So let's jump right on in. First things first, we're going to go ahead and start off with a software instrument track. Then we're going to go under instrument to alchemy. All right. And from there, you know, what we'll do is just type in under search retro all right so there's a lot of different retro sounds if you listen to um you know yeet's music he has a lot of retro vibes with the music and i'll show you what i mean by retro let's go to like maybe say uh this lead and what i'm also going to do is turn on musical typing just so you can see what i'm do doing i'm using a uh, midi keyboard here so we'll just use that And you can also come over here and, you know, swap out different things here. And so we're going to start off with a melody here. I'm going to give it a nice little tempo, probably like one, around 140-ish. And I'm just going to come up with a super simple pattern. As you can see here, we just play like literally three notes and just play them different ways throughout here. We'll go down to one over eight. Right click on this and we're gonna do force legato. And that's what we got. Let's speed it up just a little bit. And from here, what we could do is keep on building the melody out, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with some drums first. So I'm gonna go to um, new software instrument tracking and under here, go to the quick sampler. Now with the quick sampler, it's pretty easy to drag and drop sounds. You can go to a, a site like Splice and then find some different drum sounds and then drag and drop in here as you create. So I can just go like trap, and then I can come over here and get different things. So I can go maybe trap hi-hats. Let's see what we got. So we'll work with this hi-hat right here. You can make it simple in here by going to the step sequencer, press enter to bring that playhead to the beginning. And I wanted to go ta 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 So that's what I want the pattern to do in my head. So what I'm gonna do is go from 16 steps to 32 steps. And I'll let this play and just add where I need to. So now we have a simple hi-hat pattern. I don't want to overcomplicate it. I'm going to start repeating the process here for my drums, a software instrument track, and then a quick sampler. We're going to drag and drop a sound right in. Let's find like a good kick. Keeping everything simple here, my bad y'all. Keep everything simple. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of a swing on this one. And then we'll just keep on going down the list here. Get like a, some type of snare or a clap. I'm gonna go to this Trap Island kit. Then I can come over here and do whatever. Quick little tip for your clap sounds is just go to Step Sequencer. Should do that right there. click over here and go to like tie and we can extend this note zone. Then we need a snare. I feel like I'm pressing the same snares over and over and over again. Let me get out of this trap kit. <laughs> Literally the same snares over and over again. Like what? Just like he did the same snares twice. Four steps make it a little bit more interesting. Follow the little white dot right here, and you can tap it in as you see sure where it should be. So we got our main points that we need on here, our main elements for the most part. So we we'll probably do a couple more like melody sounds and then this beat really should be left wrapped up. Before we do that though, we do need an 808. So we definitely wanna go ahead and make sure we get one of those in there. Same process, or you can grab one of our kits or melodies and loops from our site. We'll be using a lot more of our kits and stuff in our uh, future videos here. We just go ahead and do 808. Just go to beatmakingbases.com. That's all we got to do. Keep it simple. 
I'm not going to use this step, step sequence since I switched about the piano roll. I'm going to affect it or change it there or edit it. It's literally all we're playing. some type of other retro sound to go along with this here. pretty simple we're gonna keep it like that So I'll just just gonna try something different here. We're just gonna do it, have it do one set, one note. Yeah, we're gonna leave it how we had it before. But pretty much, man, this is how you make a yeet type beat, uh, start to finish, man. At least uh, cooking it up wise, right here in Logic Pro 10. If you want to see part two, where we'll actually arrange this into song format and mix it give me a thumbs up on the video and also maybe come by in the comment section and say yo we like that we want a part two and i'll probably go ahead and drop a part two so anyway y'all appreciate y'all watching i'll see you in the next video all right we out